All right. So there's an opening statement from Coach Todd and then Vince, any questions you have? Definitely. I, I felt like it was a, a really good first half for us. Uh, had good ball movement. Uh, the rebounding was our biggest concern going into the game against a very physical rebounding team that plays two posts. We definitely passed that, that test. And uh, you know, second half, give Queens credit. They uh, really fought hard. We, we were down a couple guards. Uh, you, know, you know, this uh, we had Nakai Thompson was out uh, and uh, Casey, uh, Caitlin Coster was out the second half. So we're a little thin on guards, but, uh, you know, we did, uh, did what we need to do in the second half and, uh, it was a good, uh, good team effort, but I really liked uh, the way we, uh, played in that first half. Coming in this point in the season, the get go, I think the whole bench, um, almost everybody in the first half, you got fresh with everybody in the second half. How nice is that at this point in the season to be able to go to that depth? It definitely helps. And, and I feel like we had a deep team and, uh, really my, Hardest part of coaching this team is, uh, uh, you know, would like to be able to play some of our players more minutes, but that's just kind of the way way it works out. But we have had some injuries. We've had some people that have uh, gotten some good opportunities. But it was uh, uh, tonight, uh, you know, everybody chipped in and and uh, played a played a part in this win. Is the focus of the team, you know, kind of in that spot right now in the season where it's kind of right in the middle and just kind of. Okay, we got to get ready for the end of the season now. Everybody focused in to what the team's position is like. I think we are. I mean, we know we had uh, going into this game, we've got seven conference games, five of them are at home. Uh, now, obviously, uh, uh, we'll still have four four games at home, and uh, those are, are big. And, you know, got a huge road trip next week uh, going north Alabama, central Arkansas. And, uh, you know, we've got an extra game uh, up in Chicago, Chicago State, the week we played Bellarmine. So uh, I just want to finish well. February is a, a, you know, as a coach, you, you try to get better every month. Of course, every team is trying to get better every month. And, you, you know, it doesn't always work. But I feel like this team uh, is, is really not disappointed us in, in their effort and how hard they play. Uh, so we're, uh, uh, we're thinking to keep that focus in February and come out uh, with – with some home wins and and, uh, uh, and and on the road play, uh, very very competitive, and hopefully uh, be able to uh, get a win or two there as well. And then um, they posted during the game. I don't know the exact stat, but Olivier is one of the first team Division One players to hit a certain threshold in points, rebounds, and assists. I guess he uh, he's one of thirteen players in college with a thousand career points, five hundred career assists, four hundred career rebounds. And what's interesting with that, I, out of those 13, I'd like to know how many of them done it at one school. We've basically done it all here at Eastern. I, I'm not sure that. Caitlin Clark is not a bad one to be in company with Caitlin, but uh, typically it's it's rare to see players of her uh, stature do that. And obviously she's got a full full year left, which is it makes it even more uh, more impressive to me. Great, thank you. <laughs> All right, we got a chance to see Nashley against Milwaukee and how they care Angeles against. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Uh, physical game seemed like you probably just a lot of I don't know, frustrated maybe is the right word, but uh, agitated maybe. Um, is that was that a good word for you? I mean, yeah, Queens is a physical team, but you know we're physical as well, so I mean, yeah, it's definitely a lot of different. Little emotions, you know what I mean? But yeah. Uh, great game, by the way. Uh, hit threes, doing everything you do. Defense was, was incredible. Thank um, you. You know, and I, I don't know how does it feel. You're like in the middle of this kind of middle to the end of the season now. And sometimes you can kind of fall on a wall and you guys haven't done that. Um, so, how do you just feel about the team right now and the focus and, and where everybody's at? Um, I think like coming up a two game losing streak, I think that definitely hit us. And I think our focus right now is just trying to play each one game at a time, like focus on playing first 40 minutes before we think about the next 40 minutes. And I think that's what we're really focusing on and like just trying to come back together as a team and like really bring each other up and support each other. I mean, getting to that what, few games left in the conference and starting to feel that postseason coming, um, right? Uh, is, there, is there a lot the team needs to improve on or you guys feel like you're playing Best, best right now. Um, I mean, I think.
think there's always um, room for improvement, but kind of just going off of what Tay said, just taking it game by game. And, you know, specifically for us, um, like she said, again, just making sure we play all 40 minutes and, um, you know, making sure everybody's head is in the game. Um, like we saw, we had two girls um, down tonight. And Tay stepped up big for us. So, you know, it actually had a lot of people stepping up for us. Kalani, Bridget, a lot of people coming off the bench. So just making sure the next man is up. That's my go ahead. Biggest thing for us. I have one that's a question that everybody's had to ponder yeah. on the address. And uh, it's that you know, you were here last year. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been that depth mm -hmm. um, until this year. Yeah. How nice is it to have that depth? And then to be able to see Bell Mead. We saw Kalani here play. Mm -hmm. and she was super excited. It was a great play. She made the score. She hit an and one as well. So, um, how nice is that to see that piece this year? I think the depth on our team is incredible. Like, every single person brings something to the court. Like, whether it's defense, offense, they're shooting, they're passing, like, e anything. Like, someone just has something that brings us to the team. And I think that's what really energizes the team. Like, you have someone coming off the bench and bringing the same energy that the starters are starting with. And, like, that really helps keep momentum into the game for us. Um, I think for me this week was that I had a really good like practice week this week and I think that's what really helped me coming into this game and like I felt I had a, once I hit one three like I felt I had a lot of confidence shooting the next and the next and like that's what really helped me and I think like obviously when you're down two players like people need to step up and like I felt like this is obviously an opportunity for me to step up and like that's the same in any game like whether we have a full roster or whether we have five people missing like it's always room for every, people to step up and like just when you're on the court, like it's a good opportunity to just go 110 percent and like give what everything you got. And then Mari, for you, you probably already heard from Webb here heading into next game, 12 points a great for you. That's a 26 number. Mari mm -hmm. asked the same question. Yeah. Have you hit a thousand in your career? Or yeah. <laughs> Um, no, let me stop. But, um, I mean, I think it's just, I mean, I always just say I think it's a blessing um, just being able to be surrounded by, you know, amazing people here at EKU. And honestly, for me, like, I always say I kind of wish, I wish I were here all four years, just the environment, the people that care for you. And it just really has aided me just as a person, as a player, the confidence in myself to be able to hit those benchmarks, a thousand in my career and a thousand here at EKU. I just... I think it's amazing. Yeah. And then you were here for the end, but you got you know Cross Bay at home this week. It's going to go on a big road trip to UNA, UVA, and then Rock Hill State. Just kind of talk about how you're going to do it tonight, the performance, and then the next step for you. Um, I think nice <laughs> performance. <laughs> nice performance. I think is a really good way to go into playing away, and obviously we have Kennesaw State coming up this Saturday, but I think play that game, hopefully play all 40 minutes, and then we'll start focusing on next week. But right now, we're just focusing on Kennesaw State for now. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.